Hey guys, how are you today and welcome to a new video. So, I've always liked to do videos where I talk about F1 news that's happened recently. And in those videos, you may not notice, I also talk about things that's happened in the past. So this time, I'm actually just going to focus on this week in Formula 1 in previous years. So, on June the 1st, 2001, right, Adrian Newey was reported to have moved to Jaguar. Of course, Adrian Newey, you know, he's probably the best F1 car designer ever. He was at Red Bull in recent years, in the dominant years when Vettel was at the team. He has been at McLaren, you know, he's been, he's been around the block, let's say, in Formula 1. And he's very successful. No one doubts that at all. And he nearly went to Jaguar, right? Which is which would have been quite a shock. You know, Jaguar weren't a very big team back then in 2001. And somehow they got in. They tried to get in, but sadly for them, the deal never, you know, became real. It never actually happened. And Ron Dennis, ahead of McLaren, managed to keep Newey at McLaren, which obviously is important because they did have a title challenge, for example, in 2003, and I think in 2005 as well. And it's good for McLaren that they kept him. And really, since he left, since 2006, McLaren have generally gone downhill. And there might be a reason for it. And ironically, uh, Adrian Newey ended up at Red Bull, which is essentially the Jaguar team, it's a former Jaguar team, in 2006. So he did end up there in the end, but not as a Jaguar team. And we all know what he did at Red Bull, especially between 2010 and 2013. And he's basically still involved now. Moving on, in the year 2000, on June the 4th, David Coulthard took over his first victory at the Monte Carlo Grand Prix. He started third that day, but Schumacher had a mechanical failure, a cracked exhaust, and the gearbox failures and everything around the grid, and that allowed um, David Coulthard to go through and win. Of course, we all know it is the toughest track in Formula 1. I can see that even when I play video games, it's the toughest track. All the drivers want to win it. And David Coulthard um, would have been very glad with that. You know, he didn't win so many races in, in his career. I think sort of we overestimate how good he is. I don't think he was that amazing. And I guess in the, in the UK we love any race winner. So we love him here. But you know, he, he won the hardest race, okay, but he was a bit lucky. And talking of him being lucky, on the next day Schumacher sort of, you know, had a go at him. And tried to make him not to feel so happy. And Schumacher was saying how he was glad that, he, that it wasn't his main rival, Mika Hakkinen, who won the race. In the end, Schumacher won that world championship quite easily. But you know, he thought maybe Schumacher was being a bit of a sore loser there. Maybe he didn't accept um, the victory. Hakkinen actually didn't get any points that race in the other McLaren while Coupard won. And you know, I think Schumacher was being a bit of a sore loser. And I don't like it for that, to be honest, even though I think he's an amazing driver. He certainly was, you know, I don't think Schumacher was right there. And ultimately, Coulthard will be remembered for winning that race. Schumacher won't. Although he probably could have, considering he was quite a long way in the lead before his mechanical failure. Anyway, moving on, finally, June the 7th, 1998. This just qualifies from a video because, as I should have said, I want it to be within my lifetime. And this is just about, within about 30 days, within my lifetime. And there's a huge crash at the first corner on June 7th, 1998. At the first corner of the Canadian Grand Prix, there was a bit of a pile up, including Alexander Wurz and Yano Trulli, Johnny Herbert, Ralph Schumacher all involved. You know, Trulli's car ended up on top of a lazy's car, inches on his head. Pretty dangerous. You know, we saw a similar thing at the Australian Grand Prix in 2002, I believe, where Marshall was killed. And yes, I agree that the first corner of any race, wherever it is, apart from in Monaco where it's quite narrow, yeah, but the first corner on the first lap is really dangerous. That is the most dangerous part for any F1 driver, in my opinion. They're all close together, but at the same time, you can see when they can go through there without crashing, it also shows their skill. So the first corner, you know, it's the most important to run of the, of the whole race properly. First corner, first lap. And it's always pretty exciting. 
Anyway, guys, that is the end of this video. Tell, tell me, what do you think is the most exciting first lap ever? In, no, not ever, in the last 20 years of Formula 1. I'd be interested to know what is the most exciting first lap you've ever seen. And I'll see you guys next week for more F1 on this week. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this and other types of videos, please subscribe to my channel. If you have anything to say in the comments, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Also, go and check out the video that should be on screen right now and come and follow me on Twitter, BigGaming342 and Facebook, BigGaming342 and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.